So this is the other part of the So I've got the sat plane on the surround school, the other ramps turned off at the moment because I'm testing. So I'll just have a little bit of Shima Jojo in the background. Uh, and testing the uh, the uh, variable. So it's a bit difficult to uh oh, the probe came off. So it's a bit difficult to do a video holding the holding my hand. Uh, just in the uh, variable. Difficult to get a variable, so there's about 16, 15, 16. I'll adjust it a little bit. Uh, I'll adjust it a little bit. Uh, it's gone down, resistance uh, value has gone down a bit. So that's okay. So I'll get this soldered up. As I was saying earlier, if you had a high, high I think it has to be a very high high resistant level uh, wattage voltage handling uh, L pad you could put L pads on um, the base drivers the mid range the, you know and if there was slight you know you can adjust those um, you know until you got the signal going out to the microphone to the RTA and it's the same sine wave uh, tone signal level um, also check in passive crossovers by connecting up uh, and then running the frequency sweep through each single you know so you're measuring it electro, electro, electronically in a way and uh, and then look at the overlays and how how do they look at the overlays with particularly crossover points and so forth and you'll see the actual uh, you know slopes kind of like maybe like that 12 dB typical if it maybe 6 if it was flat then there's no crossover it signals just going straight through um then you can you know it's very rare sometimes you get so you do get passive crossovers that can have steeper 18 or 24 um but to most typicals are kind of like 6 or 12 db uh, um but it's usually the crossover that makes the speaker um particularly uh, if you use a uh, if it got a nice steep crossover division on the crossover, nice steep, you get good. Uh, well, like the THX sound system, that's why the well, that's why the bass from the screen speakers is, is so damn good. One wire soldered on, okay. That's so let's get some heat shrink on it and get it shrunk on, and then get this and test out these variable resistors and see if I can get that signal equal level. Well, there's no case of see it, i will get the signal level equal no if no but no debate no vote about it <laughs> oh don't get any good than that neat Pleased with that. So I'll connect that up. I'll just wind the wires on because I they only go onto a one of the uh, Phoenix type connectors like that. So it's just all I have to do is just wire it, wire it on these ends, and I'll add that at the end. And I'll just adjust it. So I've got the, you know, spot on. And there's the other one. 